All right, we have 26% battery to, to get this all on video. More than enough. More than enough. All right, this is our unit, H30. Jersey Mike's, it's not Jersey Mike's though. All right. I can't see for shit up here. Little commercial rooftop action. Let's fucking go. Another company apparently said the TXV might be bad. Here, cameraman. I mean, it doesn't really seem like a bad TXV right now. We are gonna need our uh, voltmeter. Figure what? out what's going on. Voltmeter. I don't know if this has been open. Oh, uh, those are new. Alright. New wish. That's not it. Alright, no clue why, but the breaker did trip on us, so we are back at it now with our flip breaker not labeled properly so um but yeah tripping breaker is not a good sign but it didn't trip again i just pushed in the contactor so so yeah now we are going to check our refrigerant um well we're gonna put this back on right here and then uh this, i mean this is some ghetto this is ghetto hvac 101 what up this is ghetto hvac restaurant shit all Almost all restaurants will be like this, even high-end restaurants. So just gotta get used to working on some ghetto shit. Alrighty, so we do have our gauges hooked up. Our idle pressures are pretty typical, but that's not really something to go off of. You can just say, ah, oh, they're not like 20, you know? I mean, if they're within a decent range and that's not really anything you want to monitor. And Colton's about to turn this thing on. You want to turn it on? You there? Yeah. All right, yeah, go ahead, turn this thing on. Cool. Alright, and then I'm going to turn it down. Alright. Did you turn the fan off? Fans on auto. Okay, cool. Get something fucked up. Alrighty. Yeah, you can come back up here. Okay. All right, so now we have our pressures here. Now we just monitor these and see kind of what's going on. This looks like an overcharge, honestly. To me. I don't know, though. No, probably not an overcharge. Take a video of this. This is very easy. We look here, we had this line sweating. We had our pressure here and it said it was very low. You never want to trust it, but this temperature right here is like 30 something degrees right now. And so then I looked in here, let's look at this. You can see it, this is not safe, but you can see uh, it doesn't look like it's sweating on before that filter dryer. So I took this thing, we come in here, like this temperature right there so we took the temperature before the filter dryer and we're at 106 restricted filter dryer yeah this was very ghetto but yeah you should have like um a couple degree drop in a filter dryer i mean technically it probably does affect the system a little bit but not crazily if it's not affecting your pressures drastically i wouldn't really worry about it too much but I think this was like an 80 degree drop, something like that. So it uh, should be like one to two max. And uh, yeah, but we were way, way up there. So we need him a quote to replace the filter dryer. And when I do stuff like this, I know some guys will like filter and reuse all the refrigerant. I'm just gonna recover it and uh, 
just put in new refrigerant. That way we don't have to worry about it again. And they, they can't go, I mean, then if there's an issue, we know it's not the refrigerant, so. Real quick, the, this call that we were on, that I'm just editing right now, we were the fourth company there in about the last month or so. So they just paid someone $1,500 to maintain their two systems, change the filters and clean them. And I didn't really do, get a lot of good footage, but this system was not clean. It was, I mean, the yeah, it, they, they were like, yeah, we just paid someone $1,500. And I was like, that sucks. <laughs> so, and then, yeah, so they, he did the maintenance, evidently didn't check anything, didn't clean anything, charged him 1500 bucks for that. And then they called another company out who told them that the TXV was likely bad. And then they called another company out the day before we were out there who declined service or something. And then we were out there and we were the only one who told the restaurant that they have a bad filter dryer. I mean, it's like, night i mean it's so obvious that's the issue it took me it was like a five minute diagnosis but um they've already i mean they've racked up like two thousand dollars in service charges and maintenance fees the last month and so i quoted it i don't know a thousand something bucks i already sent them a quote and they uh for a whole new charge and a new filter dryer and uh, we'll see i think that this one will be on the schedule soon but yeah, we're gonna be posting more videos. My laptop, actually, so, so for people who watch our videos regularly, my laptop that I do all my video editing on, the screen died. So it was getting repaired. I wasn't able to edit any content except for like a couple, I mean, I think we got maybe a short or two out, um, did some live streams, but yeah, my, my laptop went blank. It was gone for a week. I was running my business off of a fucking, iPad so that was fun but um yeah cool sweet uh stay tuned we got a lot of content that we're gonna put out soon